I'm Luke and I'm from Swords <laughs> and uh, my music is called Activities. The track I played was called Utopia and it was written for a dance piece uh, about gender um, called Gender, the Longest Performance of Your Life and that was last year or two years ago in Smock Alley. It was great to do that, it was a, a pleasure to actually have something to to write for other than just like I'm gonna write a song to actually have like something set out for you and then you gotta kind of try and translate it into music. The first album I spent money on I bought was Tragic Kingdom, no doubt, on, on tape, <laughs> from tape to tape in Swords, which is gone now, sadly. I'd say growing up in the house, there was always The Beautiful South, still my favourite band. <laughs> and uh, uh, Mega Drive, a lot of the Mega Drive, like Sonic and stuff like that, the music with that was really just so half the reason to play the game. Like. I was in a band as like when I was like a young teenager to like my late teens called Jonas. It's <laughs> such a shameful name as well. But I kind of prefer it like this because, you know, you're not letting anyone down or no one's letting you down <laughs> or you know what I mean? It's just, it's so much handier like to, to, to do it. It suits me anyway, a lot better. Living Idols. Tonetta, do you know Tonetta? He's like a, he's like he's a guy in his sixties and he's got this whole ream of songs going back to like, I think the eighties and a lot of them sound quite the same. There's different types. That he has his own kind of different type. He has his ballady ones and so on. But he like uploads videos to YouTube and he uploads like a few a day. But he will wear like just like a little thong and a weird fucking mask. And he's kind of buff as well. And uh, he just clearly just doesn't give a fuck. He's just in his own creative kind of bubble and not influenced by anything else and making just such original stuff, but it's quite, a lot of it's kind of accessible and poppy. Some of it's filthy, but some of it will break your heart like as well. So tone it. I'd like to collaborate with like as many people as possible, just even to learn myself like different stuff, because you learn a lot from that. I don't know if I could pick one. Tone it. <laughs> I don't think I have any. See, I probably don't think of them as pet peeves. I probably think of them as just like morally wrong. Just like, no, no one should do that. Like, oh, pet peeve is, is if someone's like, I'm just being honest. I'm just being honest. When it's like, no, you're not just being honest. You just you decided to throw your opinion in someone's face. <laughs> if I had a superpower. Oh, a friend of mine had one actually years ago to just create anything at will. Like you just, this is there. I do that and I just fucking cause mayhem. Like I just got mad. No rules. That's a scary thought of ten years down the line. I, I don't, I don't go to that place in my head. I just fly by the seat of my pants and, and see what happens. I have, I probably should. Like I probably should have a plan, but I don't. That's just. That's just a dark alleyway that I won't go down in my mind.